In this question, we're being asked to divide one decimal by another decimal. And so, of course, you can do this on your calculator. Um, incidentally, 2.75 and then the slash means 2.75 divided by 0 0.25. This also could have been written as 2.75 over 0 0.25. Okay, so of course, if you have your calculator, you can just type this in as it stands, and this is going to give you how much? Let's see, it'll be 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. You'd get an answer of 11 on your calculator. But if you had to do this from scratch um, or by hand, then the way to do it is to take your fraction and try to get rid of your decimals. Um, you're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by a number like 10 or multiply it by 10 or multiply it by 100 or multiply it by 1000 or whatever it is you need in order to get the decimals out of um, out of your in order to get the decimal point out of these values so if i multiply by 10 that's going to move my decimal over one place and that's not going to be enough but if i multiply by 100 then i'm going to move the decimal over two places so it'll go there and there and so it'll just be 275 on the top on the bottom it would be over one two and it would be 0, 025 or just 25 on the bottom which makes things a lot easier to work with um, let's try that out so two 2.75 times 100 is going to be 275 and then 0 0.25 times 100. It has to be the same as what I'm multiplying on the top. Um, whenever you're changing a fraction, you have to change the bottom and the top by the same amount. So this is going to be um, 25. So now this is a much easier question that I can solve like this manually. So I look at uh, how many times does 25 go into 2? It doesn't go into 2, so let's try going a little further. How many times does 25 go into 27? It goes in one time. 1 times 25 is 25. 27 minus 25 gives me 2. I can't fit 25 into 2, but I do have another number that I can pull down. And this gives me 25. How many times does 25 go into 25? It goes in one time. 1 times 25 is 25, leaving me a remainder of 0, meaning that I have my answer. And so, of course, the answer is C.